A little while back, about 18 months ago, I had the opportunity to visit an Eichler house. It was in Palo Alto and it was in original condition. What that is, is actually kind of contractor speak for really bad. I think original condition would be, it wasn't original the way it was built anyway, so original is a euphemism. It was probably a hoarder house and it had condition issues and really a lot of deferred maintenance. And when I say maintenance, like it wasn't kept up at all. If you wanna see the full video, I'm gonna drop a link here. So it's either gonna come up here or it's gonna be down below, but you're welcome to go watch the whole video and the tour. I was inside and outside. So what did this house have going for it? Well, number one, it was an Eichler. So if you're on this channel, you're probably interested in that. Number two, it was in Palo Alto. So it had access to the Palo Alto school system. Number three, it was a house for sale in a very low inventory area, which is Silicon Valley at all times. And number four, it was nestled in the Greer Park in a community of Eichlers. So it was kind of with its siblings, nested in a family of Eichlers in its lovely siblings. The other thing it had going for it was it was the lowest price home on the market in Palo Alto at the time. So that's gonna attract a lot of attention from both families who are looking to enter the market and also all kinds of investors and also all kinds of contractors and developers. Just recently, I had the opportunity to visit a different Eichler in Palo Alto. The Eichlers in the Greer Park neighborhood are all based around three different circles. So one is Moffat Circle, one is Metro Circle, and one is Van Alken Circle. Now Van Alken is the biggest of the three, and it's actually an oval, it's actually not a circle, but for now, we're not gonna split hairs. This Eichler that I just visited was on Van Alken and it just came to the market. And in fact, at the time of shooting this video, it's already off the market, but this one had been lovingly cared for and even had some modifications done to it. So I'm gonna drop that video if you would like to watch it of like a lovingly cared for Eichler. I'll drop that link so that'll either appear here or down below. So while I was in Van Alken, I thought why not swing by Moffat Circle and take a look and see what happens to this beloved gem of a home. So the Moffat Circle house originally was a three bedroom, one bathroom. These were early in the Eichler plan communities and so they were not courtyard models and they were not atrium models. This one just had a carport. And that is similar to the other counterparts on Moffat Circle. If we focus our attention specifically on Moffat Circle for just a moment, there are 24 homes. In the history of the MLS recording sales, there have been 21 sales. The highest price on Moffat Circle went for well over $3 million. It was a four bedroom, three bath property. And that house sale was fairly recent. In the recorded history of the MLS, the lowest price home was $389,000. And that was recorded in 1996. Oh, that we could go back to those prices. Let's go back to the Moffat Eichler that had all the condition issues. It was also a probate sale that was going to be run by the county. You had to submit a bid. It was a blind bid, all in sealed envelopes. And then the envelopes were gonna be opened and the highest price wins the bid. So truly a blind bid. It was also disclosed that there was a death on the property with no details provided. So that would rule out a certain number of buyers that didn't wanna participate in either the blind bid process or in offering on a property that had had a death recorded in it. When this property came to market, it was listed at 1,798,000 and with all of the condition issues that I have described and that you have seen, it sold for $2,201,000 in less than a month on the market. So now what we've all been waiting for, I assumed with a bid that was so far over the asking and so high, quite frankly, for a house that was not habitable, then 
these people would have had to, the buyers would have had to pay cash and because you can't get an assumable loan on a non-habitable house. And I assumed that they had a ton of money also to throw at rehabbing this Eichler. So when I drove there, I was really excited to see how the rehab was coming along. So let's take a look. I've come back to visit an old friend today. This is a home that I profiled a while ago, 1084 Moffat Circle. It's on the most charming circle drive of Eichler's. It's in Palo Alto. And I have to say, I'm sad. I'm sad. It is, as you can see, just completely bulldozed. They flattened it. They raised it. They leveled it. So, we can see here that the trees are protected. The fencing shall not be removed. The trees are being protected. So that leads us to a discussion about the value of real estate in Silicon Valley, the value of Eichlers, the value of historic preservation, and the value of homes in the Silicon Valley at large and in Palo Alto specifically. Other Eichlers on Moffat Circle have sold for 2,580,000 to 2,850,000. And they were a similar floor plan and similar square footage. So if this one sold for just over 2 million, then it only makes sense financially if you build at least what was there in the first place, which was a three bedroom, one bath. Although for resale value, it's probably mandatory that you have a second bath and most of the other homes have been converted to four beds and two baths. And for this to make sense financially, you would want to do that for less than $500,000 or at least less than $800,000. And I am not sure if that is possible for new construction in Palo Alto at this time. As we look here at some of the other Eichlers on Moffat Circle, we can see that they are stunning and have been lovingly cared for. These homes would absolutely hold their value and even appreciate. And the final question is, will the replacement home look and feel like an Eichler? And if it's going to look like an Eichler, what modifications will they do? Like, will they put in a whole updated HVAC system? Or even will they put in a two-story home? And is this an investment or will the owners live here themselves? What I do know for sure is that this is not my last visit to Moffat Circle. Stay tuned and follow along and we'll visit again to see how the project is coming.